What's up? What's up? So, what happened was, John said to me, Hey, I had a great game in the T54. So I said, please send me the replay. So, here we are. This is the first video I'm gonna do that actually doesn't feature me. Yeah, man, I know. I'm so self-indulged, I guess. <laughs> you might remember John from the video um, about the two A44s going wild, kinda, uh, in the Brothers in Arms video. So, this is gonna be John on his own in his T54. He's grinding through this tank and he says he really likes it. And anyone can understand why. Because this thing is a beast. Well, this first pass is gonna involve some driving, so let's fast forward a bit. Alright, here we are. So, I've seen this replay before, before I made the video. And let me tell you, the ending is gonna be intense. But this first part might be kind of boring, because all John's gonna be doing is peekabooing with this T-54 on the enemy team and this uh, T-44-100. So, let me tell you what the T-54 is for people who just flew in from Mars. Oh, by the way, this shot was a very nice shot into the roof. Uh, so the T-54 is actually a top-tier Russian medium. So what do they do? They have good armor, great DPM, good gun handling, and um, pretty good mobility. And that's pretty much it. They're just really, really, really good. They're great for brawling, which John is going to show us. So he's picking booing here. And look at this shot, just shot off the tail of the T-44. <laughs> And he's still blowing, he's blocking shots, told you about the armor. And the T-54 misses him, and he finally is contemplating going forward. Oh, by the way, the gun on the T-54, if you're doing it right, and use the gun that goes towards the 140, it has only 201mm spent on the standard shells. And um, the heat shells, the premium shells, are over 300, so... People used to, um, or people sometimes call this tank Heat 54 because it's so much better to shoot heat. But not in all situations, as uh, John is going to demonstrate in the end. So he finally moves forwards, sees that the 54 is already dead because the bad chat first him and um, humps this rock a little bit and then turns around and goes and trying to help the, uh, his own team because his team is losing. So. He's gonna tap around a little bit here, try and get shots in the middle, but he's gonna have no shots, so he's gonna take no shots. The enemies are hiding behind rocks. He's stopping, over forward, stopping, going forward. Still trying to find shots, but no shots to be taken. We are getting close to the main brawl here. Let me just mention, I once made a drunken video about the T-54 playing its stock did pretty well in it, uh, but John's gonna do much better here, so... But mine was with a stock gun, so I got that going for me. Okay, the brawl is gonna start now. He's, gonna, he's just waiting for this Chinese heavy to poke up and lower plate shot, no problem. He does take shot in return, and then look at this shot. Just a rush, no problem, okay. So, he took one shot of this heavy, but he actually took two shots of this heavy, but took two in return. So, he's on half HP and on 1300 damage. Now, let's just watch this. He's gonna brawl. All of them are heavies. Like the same tier or, or uh, a bit, one tier lower heavies. He recognizes this uh, Tiger 2, has the sock turret, and just shoots him in the turret. Shoots him again. This Tiger 2 is gonna bounce on the T54, try to ram. And John just dodges, shoots him again in the side, and I think this Tiger 2 is screwed. Okay, he gets killed before he can put, uh, he can try and put another shot into John. Okay, so, Tiger 2 done. Next victim. 
he's uh, looking for side shots. Bam, on the IS-3, no problem. What is, no, this is on the low way. Another shot on the low way, kills the low way. Pulls back for a little bit, and then puts one more shot into the side of the VK, just for good measure. Now he sees the Chinese guy rushing in. So, pulls back, aims for tracks, bam, tracks him. Nice move. Chinese guy misses. Lower plate, bam. And now he's a one shot. Focuses down him, of course, and kaboom. That guy is dead. So he just killed three guys without taking any damage from that first point. And he swerves, and this guy tracks him, does no damage. So tracks him again, great move, goes around, and now this guy is toast. This can't do anything. Shoots him in the back of the turret, turns around. Great play here, just mastery, masterful play. And he's dead. And the damage racked up very quickly. See? So, he finally loading some heat rounds, which he kind of needs to ensure these um, are gonna pan. This I3 is hold on, but look at this shot. Look at this shot. It is a Russian medium after all. But IS-3 is also Russian, so he pans the shot. But the rate of fire, look at this. Shoots him again, pans him again, no problem. Just in front of the pike nose. And this one bounces, and also the IS-3 bounces, so... Told you this was intense. He's rightfully looking towards the other IS-3, because he wants to shoot him too. And tries to go for the killing blow, and bam. This IS-3 made a mistake, he was perfectly held down, and he just gave John... Like... A very easy shot on his uh, lower hull, so yeah. Alright, but there is one more IS-3 left. So, but first John needs to find them. Now where is he? He's a freaking Houdini, this guy. <laughs> but this game was all about this brawl. Like, it shows why Russian mediums are Russian mediums perfectly. Like, all he fought was heavies and just, it didn't stand a chance. They weren't very good players, but still, they just didn't stand a chance against the T-54 when it's top tier like this. He finally finds them, and he has heat loaded, remember that. So, bounces off the S. Like, more than 300 fan, bounces off the S of the IS-3, of course. Alright, now it's just time to finish this guy. He's gonna need a couple of shots, because heat goes into space armor, but all I wanna see is this brawl. Again, with some appropriate music playing, so let's do that now, before we see the end screens. So here are the end screens. John Master Tank won the game, got Steel Wall and the High Caliber, of course. Steel Wall in the Russian Medium, not that rare, but still impressive. He did over 6k damage, 5 kills, and almost 1500 XP. He lost money because of the heat, because the heat is really expensive in this tank. Um, but okay, still doesn't matter, it was a great game. He fired 31 shots. 
like 27 and 10, 22. So yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching and bye.